Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cake toppers. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's get on with the video. Okay, so this is the material that I will be using. Of course, my Cricut machine. I have a new mat. This here is a cardstock paper. These are bamboo sticks, toothpicks, Mod Podge is what I will be using to glue or you can use a glue gun. And this here is a double-sided sticky foam. All the details will be in the description below. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go into our Cricut Design Space, click on New, and for this project, I don't need a template, so I'll go straight into text. For this project, I'm using font Show Love, and it looks like this. I will be adding text, Happy 50th Birthday. Looks like this. I'll make this bigger so you can see better. And for a simple cake topper, if you just wanted to cut it just like this you want to make sure that all letters are touching as you can see these are not so to make my life easier I'll go up here to letter space click on this arrow down here and get it as close as possible so this looks great and like I said you want to make sure that everything is touching so you can see this isn't this isn't so I'll go ahead and click on ungroup and just move it individually and for these two, I actually want to make it a little smaller and kind of bring it up top. Same thing with the 50. Kind of want to bring that up top just like that. And now all of this is touching, so I can actually go ahead and weld it. You want to make sure you weld this because that way the machine knows to cut the outer part and not cut in the letter, if that makes sense. So next thing for our dot. So for our dot, I'll actually go ahead and weld this together because everything is touching and I don't want to move it. So I'll click on weld. And then I'll go ahead and add a circle, size it down. And you want to make sure it's covering just the dot, just like that. We'll go ahead and select both and slice. I can go ahead and get rid of this extra. And now, as you can see, this dot is removable. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and uh, send this to the front, move this over, and kind of see where I want this bottom part to go. Um, you want to make sure that it's holding on to something up top. So I think I like it right there. And for my dots, I can either put it right here or I can put it up there. But I think I want to put it right there. I'll make the circle a little bigger and I want to put it just up top. Bring it down. Okay, perfect. And so now we double check everything is touching, holding on to something. And importantly, you want to make sure you weld. And that is it. You have a basic cake topper. And I would change my size to 5 inches wide. And that's it. You can also do the same thing for a cupcake. I'll go ahead and add my text and I'll add um, Team Bride. And same thing, we'll go ahead and do our letter space. Or if it's quicker, you can just ungroup and do one by one, but you kind of want to get it together. Make sure everything is touching. Bring this up. And for example, I don't think I want to slice out that dot because I can have it touch something up here so for example I can have it mm, I can leave it like that or even something like that works everything is touching that's holding on to the A and that's all and even if you didn't have something to like hold on to you can go ahead and add like a shape to help you, you can just add a shape and just kind of 
put it put it like up here just so that way these two are connected now um, but I don't want to do that I'll just go ahead and remove this I like how this looks so I will go ahead and weld again welding is very important and for a cupcake um, I would change my size to two inches wide and that's it this is the first design I will show you a different design that um, where you don't have to use cursive fonts or have it touching so yes let's get on. okay so for the second design I will be using um, font very smoothie perfect and for this example let's have it say happy father's day I'll make this let me bring this down a bit and make this bigger and I want to use my letter space to make it a little closer. Same thing for my line space. Let me just bring it up. And again, you can do it this way or you can just click on ungroup and do it individually. So something like this and align it and center. And I'll ungroup because this is too far apart for me. So let me just group this back together and then I'll just select both and align. I'll select both and group. Okay, so now we have our text and as you can see, if I were to cut this out, I would have to get a stick for each letter, right? We don't want that. So what you can do is just add a shadow in the back, right? Let me just bring this down and we'll click on offsets. And I'll actually make it a little bigger so that way that there's no gaps here. Just like that. Perfect. Yep. I want to leave this just to give you, show you something. But okay, so now we have it like that. I'll click on apply. It looks like this, right? But you see that little middle part there? Or oh, if you were to have this, this is how you like it. Um, you just click on contour. Click on that to remove it, get out of it, and voila. And that is what, and so how we would cut this out is we would cut uh, like a piece of cardstock to and put it on the back of this. So that way you can just grab one little stick and kind of hold it from here. I'll show you guys that in a minute, but yes, this is the second design. I'll go ahead and just select both. And same thing, let's change that to a five. I will go ahead and click on make it. Oops, okay, I'm glad that happened. I forgot to attach it. If you don't attach it, it will show up just like that. So you can either attach or weld. I went ahead and attached it. Now we can click on make it. And there you have it. We'll click on continue. The machine will connect. You want to make sure that you turn your knob on the Cricut machine to cardstock. I like to put cardstock plus just to make sure that it cuts all the way through. And that's it. I will meet you guys at my Cricut machine. All right, so we'll go ahead and grab our cardstock, set it on our mat, and have the machine start cutting it for us. This is the way that I remove it. You can do it that way, or you can just go ahead and grab a spatula and remove it like this. I will also be cutting glitter cardstock. For glitter cardstock, I am not using the correct mat. This mat is a standard grip mat. You wanna use a strong grip, which is the purple mat. So I will go ahead and place a tape so it does not move place it into the machine and have it cut then we can go ahead and remove it like this so you want to just be very gentle when you're removing the top part you don't want to break anything off but I'll just go ahead and weed everything out
Okay, so our first cake topper is here and I want to point out a couple of things. You notice that this cake topper is more attached together versus this one. You see how how far apart the letters are versus the other one? Um, so the further apart the letters are, the flimsier it's going to be. So you can see how this one is kind of hanging down and then the other one is just straight. So just keep that in mind when you are doing your cake topper. Then I can go ahead and grab my bamboo stick, kind of play around with it and see where I want to place it. You want to place it towards the middle. Towards the middle, it's less uh, flimsy. So I'll go ahead and just grab my glue gun, add a little bit and place it on top. I also want to make sure that I just add a little bit around it just so it does not break off. So for something smaller like a cupcake topper, you can just grab a toothpick and instead of using glue gun, you can just grab some Mod Podge, dip the tip of it just a little bit, place it on the back of the cardstock and just let it sit there for about 10 minutes. And I like to use Mod Podge instead because it's just, it looks cleaner in the back and I'll show you that in a few. For this last topper, I want to place these letters to kind of get an idea of where they're going to go when I start gluing. Then I can just grab some Mod Podge and a toothpick and the same thing, just dab a little on the back and start placing it where it belongs. You could also use a glue gun Personally, I think it's too messy. Um, once it's dry, you can see the glue showing. Um, they, there is also craft glue, kind of comes with like a precision tip. You can use that as well. Um, I don't have that, so that's why I'm using Mod Podge instead. But that is how it will look. I did the rest with Mod Podge. And then the bottom letters, I went ahead and cut out little pieces of that double-sided sticky foam and placed it on one side. And we can go ahead and remove the backing and start placing our letter on our cardstock. I wouldn't use these three methods on one cake topper. I just wanted to give you an idea of how each of them look. And if you can see the difference, here it is. Same as the rest, you'll go ahead and place your stick behind your cake topper. And you can leave it like this. However, if you don't like how that looks, go ahead and grab two pieces of sticky foam, remove the backing. You can go ahead and add some more glue to the back of that stick and we'll go ahead and just cover that with this second layer here and that is it. Okay guys and here's the finale. Here's how that last one looked. You can see that 3D effect on the bottom there. And then for the first one, here it is. You can see the back, very cute, simple topper that can, you can use for any occasion. And then lastly, we have a cupcake topper. And as you can see, that back is clean. And that is all for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.